This is certainly the latest we've been walking. <laughs> it's very dark now. Out of place here. Hello! We are Filkins Drift, a folk duo from Cardiff and Gloucestershire. And we've decided to make our next tour more sustainable. So we're walking all 870 miles of the Wales Coast Path. We're playing over 45 concerts and we'll be meeting some inspiring artists and community leaders along the way. And this week we've walked 106 miles from Llanridion to Barry. She was a rare thing, fine as a bee's wing. So fine a breath of wind might blow her away. She was a lost child, or she was running wild. She said, As long as there's no price on the bus, stay. And you wouldn't want me any other way. They're on the gower. We're on the gower! One time. We're camping down the Gower for three nights. <laughs> well, not camping. We were staying in kind people's homes on the Gower three right. times. Exactly right. As I the phase of famous Richard Thompson. Wait for the frost, but Seth thought maybe we should. <laughs> That's a reference that no one's going to get. Any Richard Thompson fans out there, <laughs> go and listen to Beeswing, track four of our EP. <laughs> and talking of Gower. Here's a Gower pony. Oh! Is he really friendly? Yeah, we did get charged by a sheep earlier today. Yeah, so we're a bit funny. hesitant of animals now. I think, I think it's friendly, yeah. Hey buddy. Can I stroke it? Is that, maybe I should leave it. We busked around the market towns and picked fruit down in Kent We could tinker lamps and pots and lights wherever we want I said that we might settle down and get a few acres done Fire burning in the... And we had a strange moment last night as we were heading over to our gig Our dear videographer Alex, who's featured a couple of times now, you might recognise him. He's just getting less camera shy. Yeah. He, uh, he's been over this week to get some shots, some drone footage. And we were getting a lift to our venue because it was a bit inland. And who should we pass on the motorway? But poor Alex in his broken down van. <laughs> but amazingly, they got towed to a... Uh, a garage five minutes outside of the village we were playing in and they fixed it there and then and he's back on the road <laughs> he's back on the road with a shiny new alternator <laughs> so you could film more lovely shots just like this one <laughs> And I thought we shouldn't wait for the frost And she thought maybe we should We was drinking more in those days And tempers reached a pitch And like a fool I let her run With the rambling edge Oh, we've just got to Worm's Head At the end of Rosilli Bay it's really busy. It's a popular, popular spot for sure. This is probably the most people that we've seen in any place on the coast. For a while. Least, like yeah. since Tembe maybe? Hey, speaking of which, <laughs> we can see Tembe just about. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, you can see right the way around where we've been. Where, when were we in Tembe? Was that on Saturday? Why do I want some house? <laughs> Gosh, but yeah, you've got Tembe, you can just about make out Coldy Island off the end of it. All the way around. I can't even remember what some of these places are. And presumably you can see right into like the estuaries. Like Lan and San Stefan. But maybe that's just the price you pay for the chains you refuse. Oh, she was a rare thing. Fine as a bee's wing. And I miss her more than ever words 
friends could say. So week eight, the last full week, and we've now left the gower. Well, I think we're still on it. We're technically still on it. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure the mumbles is the end, and these are the mumbles right here. The three mumbles, or two mumbles. Two mumbles. Two mumbles, and we're just about to be heading round the corner to an absolute mumbles icon, which is the Big Apple. So, wait, so what is this? It's just like a little cafe ice cream place. Um, which we've just found out is now being listed. That's insane. It's brilliant. Is it open? I don't think it's been open, Chris. Oh yeah, it doesn't look very very functional, does it? And we've just had the next few days ahead come into view now. Right on the tip of Mumbles, we can see Swansea over there. Is that Port Talbot? Port Talbot, you can see the smoke coming out the steelworks around there. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe you can't, but you can take our word for it. And hopefully we're going to get quite a long way around this today. Maybe even right round to, I, can't, I think that's Bagland there, or Britain Ferry. Yeah, we're meant to finish in Swansea today, but we don't have a gig. So we're going to try and use the extra time to get as far as we can <laughs> and, uh, and get ahead with some miles, which would be brilliant. And this is, this is the biggest city that we've been in all tour as well, which is very exciting. It looks huge. I mean, it, it, in perspective to what we've seen for the last seven weeks, <laughs> massive. So most of our walk today is going to be along the Mum Mumbles to Swansea old railway line, which is now a cycleway and walk pedestrian way, whatever they're called. Footpath, that's the word. Um, you can see Swansea in the distance there and Mumbles back where we came from. And I was just reading about it. This is the old Blackpill station. And it started in 1807, this railway. And it was drawn by a horse. It was a horse-powered railway for 60 years. And then they realized you could do steam. And then it became the Mumbles Tram, which kept going till 1960. But it makes for a great speedy walk along this long flat way, which we'll just be heading on here till Swansea. So we'll be able to fly along the miles today. This is Swansea, and it's only, it's only blooming half, half two. And we're going over a rather exciting lock bridge. Yeah, a massive lock. Makes me, makes me miss my boat. It's a whopping lock. <laughs> Extremely well, I don't know how you describe it urban, industrial road, pretty bleak area, but it's kind of amazing. But down there are these kind of JG Ballard esque, unloved middle of the road corners of the world that no one knows exists. And that that's the first motorway we've been by, I think, isn't it? That's the M4. Yeah, that is the M4. 
I think we shouldn't be that excited about this. <laughs> it's just such a different environment. Even... Oh no, oh, no the hat... <laughs> Seth developed this hat stand innovation on his walking stick, but it failed. Hat stand. Thank you. <laughs> We've come a blooming long way today. As you can, might be able to see, it's getting a bit dark. We're a few miles off Port Talbot Station where we're getting a, a nifty little train to, um, to where we're staying tonight. And you might just see a silhouette of some land over there, which is Mumble's lighthouse. And we were actually the other side of that headland. We're probably coming up to mile 22. It'll be about 25 by the time we're there. Whew. This is certainly the latest we've been walking. <laughs> it's very dark now. Kind of the latest. It's the most we've been running late in terms of <laughs> for, a mode of, oh, oh, <laughs> for a mode of transport. But we should. And the furthest we've walked, and the latest we've walked. So many stats for you. So many records smashed. Care that records. A tumble. Call me, bro. I'm going to do it. Have a look at me, sir. Yeah, yeah, all right. See you in a minute. Oh, you right, Mark? How are you doing? outside for nine and a half hours. <laughs> we started uh, at Southgate just outside of Mumbles and then we walked all the way round to Port Talbot. 25, we nearly walked a marathon. 25, 26 women miles. Two days. We did two Where? days walking, yeah. That's two days of our planned route that we just did today. We've made it to Port Talbot Steelworks. Look at this, it's a pretty iconic viewpoint. And yeah, we're, we're, it's now Wednesday. We've got quite an easy day today uh, because of our marathon day yesterday. Li almost literally a marathon, yeah. <laughs> half a mile off. I think we'll give yeah. ourselves it's a marathon. So. And you can see pretty much where we started from, just in the distance over there. You oh can see goodness. Mumbles wow. and the whole of Swansea Bay. That's really kind of put it into perspective. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. also bizarre, like our bodies are so used to walking now that yesterday we walked a marathon. We didn't really stretch before or after. <laughs> I, was, I was dreading this morning, waking up feeling very achy. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel absolutely not fine. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> is yeah. it, you're, you're not even walking with your pole today. No, no, the old ankle is actually all right. So, yeah, it's the cure weird. for an Achilles tendon is actually it's walking a marathon. Yeah, who knew? Who knew? <laughs> I always love it when people ask, you know, what we do to take care of our bodies and things like that. And we're like, we, we just sort of go just and hope for the best. Yeah. Well, I had a, a full English breakfast pie and a cookie for breakfast. So <laughs> <laughs> the nutrition on this tour is on point for sure. So we're just in Porth Call on another glorious day. And bad news has struck. Freddie has lost his hat. 
his beloved hat that has been featured many a time on our videos. You may recognize that familiar turquoise cap. It's just been left on the train. And then we all thought it was going to go, it was going to be blown off a cliff in Pembrokeshire or washed away in the tide at St. Quivans, but no. It's left on a train and it's currently trundling back towards Carmarthen where we were about a week ago. <laughs> so he's just on the phone to uh, Lost and Found. <laughs> Trying desperately. That hat's made it 700 bloody miles. <laughs> In the meantime, we're having a lovely time here at Coney Beach Pleasure Park, just outside Fourth Call. There's lots of pleasure being had. So much. Lots of the pleasure at the moment can't be had because it's quite closed. Yeah. But you can still have a bit of pleasure. So you can still have all of the fun, all of the pleasure for years to come. Good. Being on a different planet. And we're going to meet our friend Hugh today, who knows this stretch. We're about to head into the Glamorgan Heritage Coast. He knows all about that, so he's hopefully going to tell us some cool stuff. Oh! <laughs> I, I can see one rogue stepping stone. So there's, there's our friend Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. There they are. Oh, are they? Oh, we get really wet. How deep are they? They're quite deep. Maybe going up. Yeah. Go up and run. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Hey! No worries. Oh, well. oh, we're on the wrong right side. How are you boys doing? Yeah, good. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, yeah. Just sporting some uh, fairly decent uh, fields, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm growing. Yeah. yeah. How about you? All good, man. All good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. So this is like. The beginning of uh, uh, for Tadais Morgano, so the Morgan Heritage Coast, which is like a different uh, geology. So it's made up of uh, carboniferous sandstone. So when when we get to Southern Down, you'll notice the cliffs are kind of yellow and grey. That's the carboniferous sandstone, so a sedimentary rock. And then blue lias, liasic um, blue lias. It's the stone on the beaches when you go past, when you get past Southern Down. And they call it Blue Lias because when, you know, there was a, a bit of blue sky, it reflects blue. Oh, so, wow. um, so that's the kind of thing. But you know, the Heritage Coast has got so many, obviously it's heritage because there's so many fossils there. Um, but along the coast, there's just bits of bits of what man has done, you know what I mean? Mm. And uh, there's a lot of these pillboxes. So when people were convinced the Nazis were going to invade South Wales. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, there's lots of them, which is really interesting, which now, you know, it's a, you know, if you're caught short for somewhere to drink a cider on a rainy day, it's a good <laughs> place, you know? And then if you keep going, um, you have obviously the, uh, the lighthouse um, at, uh, at Marcross uh, in Nash Point, which is actually an uh, interesting fact, the last lighthouse in Wales to be turned off. Ah. I believe, I believe, somebody might correct me, the 14th of April 1997. Wow, uh, just before I was born. Is it? Oh, there we are. <laughs> so, I mean, so whilst you're being born, I could hear that, <laughs> I could hear that on a foggy day from my house in really? Phantom Major. Yeah. Well, yeah, I read it before we came away, I read a book about foghorns and lighthouses. And yeah. they, they were talking about that. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, so now they do like weddings there. And uh, instead yes. of like the bells, they do the foghorn. Wow. Yeah, it's wicked. Uh, Abathor Power Station, which was turned off in 2020, March 2020. Uh. Uh, and it's interesting, you know, so there is where the Heritage Coast stops. Right. But for me, now I kind of feel it adds on to it because it's not working anymore. It's part of heritage. Yeah. And then when you go past that, you've got the Abathor Nature Reserve, which has the old industry there, which was the lime kiln. Ah, yeah. In from 1888. 
and so that's still there. So you have these two parts of heritage again. And then obviously you get onto Fontagari uh, Caravan Park, which is uh, <laughs> part of heritage as well, I suppose, yeah. 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 Um, the, new, the new story of the coast, yeah. Exactly. And here we are. Perfect. Hey. We've made it from the most northerly point in Wales to the southernmost point on mainland Wales. On brackets. On mainland Wales. And some people are just desperate to get even more south. <laughs> maybe climbing through that fence. Even southerer. <laughs> even southerer. Yeah, there's a... Every there's step I take in this direction is going to be the furthest south that any of us are. I would go through, but I've got too much bag on. <laughs> <laughs> so we're heading north from now. And we're heading towards Barry Island today for a lovely gig. We are, see all the Gavin and Stacey sights. Yeah. All that to come. <laughs> So we've just finished the last full week. Madness. In Barry okay. Island. Yeah, we are in the Isle of Barry. Barry. <laughs> of Gavin and Stacey fame. And yeah, I've been here once before when I lived in Cardiff, but yes, it's cool to be back. Not in the height of summer. You can imagine in summer, it, this is covered in thousands of people. Thousands? And now, yeah. And now it's just the last few people enjoying that October sun, but yeah, it's kind of fitting, you know, it fits with the vibe of like the end of this great project, you know? <laughs> And I think, I think we're all, I don't know, feeling, I'm feeling quite especially tired because we're, not because I'm more physically tired or more mentally tired, but just because the end is so close. <laughs> it's like, it's only, what, four days until we finish now? Is that right? I think so. Very much. Well, we had a night off a couple of nights ago and had a good sleep. And I've remembered what it's like to not be tired and therefore I'm now so much more tired. I think we've just got used to a state of permanent exhaustion. Kind of forgotten what it's like to be a normal person. Yeah, but like we've been doing it because it's been every day and we've got used to it. But I think, yeah, when we're not doing it anymore, you will realize what it, <laughs> that, that our baseline shifted kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. We're playing at Cubana's tonight. It should be good. And uh, apparently the venue, we have to be out by 10 because it turns into a nightclub. So who knows, maybe this will be a big night in Barry. What is a Gavin and Stacey meal box? What even is that? 